G'day all. Today we're going to review the old Caribbean Ryan backpack to the new 2017 edition Caribbean backpack. So let's begin with the 2010 Caribbean Ryan backpack, 35 litres. Uh, this backpack I've had for four or five years. Uh, it's been uh, my go-to uh, travel backpack that I've found to be uh, really, really good with the features that it has. To begin, as you can see, the zipper, uh, quite strong, sturdy. The interior pocket, the first interior pocket. As the little pocket there, a pocket for pens, and another pocket here. Uh, it goes down there. And then we have another pocket, it's quite deep, it goes down, another pocket. Uh, for belongings, so you can put your uh, phone and so on, your cables, uh, bits and pieces, the uh, battery, and then you have your laptop area, which I found to be have quite good padding, and it, this takes a 15 inch laptop. I myself have used a 13 inch with uh, a cover and so forth but it takes 15 inch laptop and as I said 35 litres uh, quite good storage this feature here is for your iPod so on so that then you can well, bits and pieces keys and then you can connect uh, via the cable coming through here uh, quite a good pocket that uh, this, the handle for uh, picking up we're not obviously as worn quite well I've had a lot of items in this backpack and yet uh, it's been quite sturdy the buckle for the chest has also weathered quite well, quite strong, sturdy, a lot of hard knocks. As I said, this is the Caribbean Rhine backpack. It's extendable, flexible wear. The padding uh, for the back is mesh padding been quite good and durable and then we have the what I use for water bottle holders it's held up pretty well the hole here but it's held up quite well quite strong underneath Ooh. Bottom of the bag, and I purchased this from Big W for uh, around I think it was $44.95 on the price tag and discounts. I got it for under $40, one of their discount days. Been a great backpack. Moving on to the 2017 version, 
even though I, again I purchased from Big W I got this for a total of $34 even though it's priced at $50 uh, this label clearly shows the features of the new backpack as you can see the sizing there 35 litres laptop compatible tablet compatible 15.4 inch A4 size main compartment front pocket organizer panel sternum strap multiple storage pockets and compartments side accessories bottle pockets three year warranty or three year guarantee <clears throat> on speaking to the manufacturers I understand they've changed manufacturers uh, or factories that they've been made and um, sort of changed the design as you can see it's now got a white interior the zips don't appear to be as large but have this cord which I'm not sure how long that'll be durable for this being brand spanking new concerned about that but still has for the pens bits and pieces pocket there still got the second pocket area which I'm not sure is as wide comparing to this area so whether or not this was a 40 litre but only actually took 35 pocket same as then we have the next pocket which seems much to much less deep then we have the main compartment area which now has a tablet holder no velcro strap and no pocket at the top and no audio hole area and this does not seem as as uh, much padding as the uh, model that I had before Moving on to the back, same similar material, uh, yet the clip is different. Hopefully that won't break with uh, knocks and wear and tear. Doesn't seem as strong as the uh, previous design. I'm told it is, but it's the previous design. This is the current design. Still got the expandable sides there, clips, label. Note the mesh is a lot thinner uh, for the water bottles course, compared to the mesh here. Going back to that. used to be rubber 
This bigger pocket area, I note. This is hopefully the advantage of the finding things being a lot lighter inside instead of being black. This one it's quite thin and yes. pocket. Best to always zip to this point, being that I have found with this backpack, with this backpack full, that if you zip only to there, that it comes open if you zip like that it can actually, uh, when there's a lot of weight, pull it open. Whereas if you zip down to the end here, on one side, it stays closed. Very good for uh, putting padlocks on this one. Not sure we still have the hole. So hopefully that will be just as sturdy for padlocks, access for padlocks there. Currently we've got that tie in the way. Right, so that about concludes the Caribbean Rhine backpack compare and review. Thank you very much for watching, uh, please subscribe to the channel and have a look at my review on the Solomon GTX shoe and other travel videos. Thank you.